Hi guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today I'm going to be showcasing the 1.20 update that Minecraft just released today, like, probably like a, like a few hours ago. So I'm going to be showing you guys what they added. So, if we create a new world, you notice that the screen is different, but this is, what, this is how it was before, like, way before. Now, there are still some experiments. I'm just going to enable them just so you can see what happened. But there is a new seed template called Cherry Grove. And that's exactly what I'm going to use. So, they added many things in this update. Now, here, let me tell you some stuff about 1.20. When they first announced 1.20, they didn't announce everything. They just announced a few things. They didn't even give the update a name. That was because they didn't want to announce so many features that didn't actually get added. So they actually announced many of the features later in the year, like Cherry Groves, which is one of the many new features they added. So speaking of Cherry Groves, let me tell you what they do. So Cherry Grove is a new biome that spawns mainly up high up when there's mountains. And... In this biome, there are a block. There, are, there's a block called pink petals, which spawns on the ground, and you can place more than one, like four of them, in a single block. And they can use to build pretty cool things and pretty cool patterns, just like that. Now, in this biome, you also get new trees, which have called cherry trees, with a new wood type called cherry planks, and this plank. Or wood is pink and I think it looks very good and it, I'm pretty sure builders would use it very well and those and that and in this volume you also have bees spawning pigs and sheep spawning pretty often and sometimes even rabbits pretty sure but this is one of the many new features that's that's in this update. The next the next feature I want to show you is such thing as the sniffer. So the sniffer can be found. The sniffer has does not spawn naturally, and you must find its egg in a warm ocean ruin. In warm oceans, and then once you get this egg and spawn it, it's gonna hatch after like 20 minutes, but placing it on top of moss actually increases it by, and now only, and now it's gonna hatch in 10 minutes. So, and when that egg eventually hatches, it's gonna spawn a baby snifflet. Let's just hope I, there we go. We have a baby snifflet, and which, spawns when this egg hatches sadly there's no hatching animation so this is, i don't even have to show you what happens when it happens but it this is what comes out and eventually it grows up into a big sniffer but over time when these sniffers are just roaming around the world they will sniff seeds into the ground it's gonna sniff seeds let me just spawn a little bit more so we can have a higher chance of seeing them sniff. I do think they have pretty cool animations for when they sniff. There's also an another baby one. So let's just wait until we see one sniffing. So let me just summon a few more so we can see all of them. So, I will come back to this. Meanwhile, let me show you bam, the new, another new wood type. So yeah, there's two wood types in this update. So if you actually, so before, bam, back was not that useful. All it really did was you find it in jungles and you can use it as fuel. But now, it actually has 
a better use. So you might have saw while well, scrolling through my inventory that we have bamboo planks. So let's just grow some bamboo. So when I have this bamboo, I break it. And then this one is a little bit different in utter wood. Usually in utter wood, you would like find a tree, but this one, you have to craft blocks of bamboo, and instead of, and instead of giving you four pieces of wood, you just get two. And again, builders would probably build very cool things with this. And with bamboo planks, also, we also have a new type of bamboo block called bamboo mosaic. Which is made from two bamboo slabs. And there we go. And of course, they come in stairs and slabs. And this also applies for every other wood set that is up the eye. So let's see if they snipped any seeds. Or if we see any of them. No, it doesn't look like it. And not yet. So, another feature they added was not really a feature, but they made scaffolding more yellow just because they wanted to make it match bamboo. Oh, wait, but another block or thing they added was bamboo rafts. Now, these rafts are like boats, but they're made out of bamboo and they just look different. Honestly, I think these look cooler than normal boats. And they also look more fitting for a jungle than actual boats. But. So. There's also this other feature called chiseled bookshelves. Now, if you don't know, it, with normal bookshelves, you can't actually take the books out of them. And this was very confusing. And because of this, people have to put random chests inside of their library rooms so they can actually store books. And sometimes people used looms to make like empty bookshelves. But that is no more with the chiseled bookshelf. Because these bookshelves actually work like real bookshelves and you can actually put books in them we take a book like this but what's even cooler is that you can place these books in any slot you don't have before whenever you place the bookshelf a book in these bookshelves it would always go like this but now you can just do whatever you want and now we can make our builds look much more detailed especially bookshelves and you don't have to make them completely empty you can put just a few of them a few books in them and one of my favorite and when they first announced the update my favorite feature was or something that i'm about to show you right now so there we are we are in the village the desert village it took me a few flying to find a village but here we are we found a camel these spawn in deserts, desert villages. And the cool thing about these is that two players can actually fit on them. Right now I don't have a second person, so I can't show you that. But two people can actually fit on it. So you can have like me in the front and then someone else in the back. And another cool thing about these is that these can actually... Actually, I don't have to make it. Is that these, these actually can resist the zombies. So if I go to survival, and if I look for a zombie, yeah, like a ton up here, you will notice. They can't actually reach me. Oh, that one just reached me just because it was... But look, they can't actually reach me. So I can hit them, and they can't hit me. But I have to be careful, because zombies 
because there are other mobs that can attack. And sometimes when you hit a zombie, they'll jump a little bit, and then, and then they can hit you. So you have to be a little careful. Another cool thing that these camels can do is that they can actually jump or dash more like like that. Unlike horses, these can jump pretty far. Unlike horses just jumping, these can actually these camels can actually dash. But let's say your camel gets hurt. So we did see your camel got hurt a little bit, or I think so. No, no, no. Well, now it got hurt for real this time. Let's say you want to heal it. If you feed it cactus, it's gonna actually heal. And if you have two of these camels. Oh, wait. And if you have two camels. Which I happen to have just another one right here, just naturally spawning. You can breed them to get another camel. So basically, you just need to find two desert villages, and then you can get as many camels as you want. Oh wait, I forgot to feed the other one. So, let's just... So, after some time, I'm pretty sure... Is something wrong? Why aren't they... Oh, because this one needs to be healed. So after some time... We'll have a baby camel. And you can feed this, and of course, ride it. Put a saddle on it, and the cycle, and you can, again, breed them, and get more. So that's all I have to say about the camel. Let's go check out our, let's go check out, and let's go check back our, our sniffers. So we we're back at the sniffers. And we can see that our egg hatched a little bit. This is strange. They're supposed to be sniffing out seeds. They had, there's not even just one seed here laying here. Like, if they sniffed while I wasn't looking. They should have sniffed already. So we will come back there at let's come back there at the very end of the video. Once I uh, once I show us all the features. So the next feature that they added so is that they made it so now you can finally summon snow golems and iron golems as spawnix. There are two other there are two other spawn eggs for the boss mobs, like Ender Dragon. Spawn egg, Witter, Witter Spawn egg. Like we do have these two, which of course summon. The oh. There you go. I got rid of them. And don't worry, I did not get rid of the sniffers. Of course not. Some of our work might be a little destroyed, but at least it's not the sniffers. Wait, I think they're annoying. Sometimes they just stay and they don't get affected by commands because they often go very far away. And I still hear them in the background sometimes. But one of the best feet but now one of the best features in 1.20 is that they actually added armor trims. Which means you can customize your armor however you like. So if you see these, and you can also find these smithing templates inside different structures. Like you can find the sentry armor trim. Actually, I don't remember which one I have. But I know this one is in ruins, I'm pretty sure. This one is the deep dark. This one, I think this one is in end cities. So yeah, you need to basically just find... The structure to find it. And what you can do with these is that you can actually use these to customize their armor. So I, if I have netherite armor, and I have like some sort of ore like emerald, I can actually use this. You can see that the smithing table looks much different. Now there's an armor stand, three slots, not just two. I mean one. Actually, I think there was one before. 
it doesn't matter. Now armor is free here. And if you add an armor trim, then add that chest, then add armor, then put that, you can see our armor stand has armor with armor trim. And then you can customize the armor however you want. Like. Do know that some are rarer than others. The island's armor trim, which is what this one was called, it only has a 1% chance to spawn in deep darks. Yeah, pretty rare. But there is one change about... But there is one change. They did add a smithing template, which is not like a temp... Which is not like an armor trim, but they made it so netherite is now harder to get. So before, you would just put diamond armor here and then a netherite ingot. Like first... Like before, you would just put diamond armor there and a netherite. But now, you also need smithing template to actually get your netherite. So, that's basically armor trims. I'm not going to show every single armor trim or every single block. I'm not going to show everything. But, there is one last feature, I'm pretty sure, in this update. And those, and that is archaeology. And if you don't know what archaeology is in this update, it's basically where if you find certain structures... Like, let me locate a desert temple. A desert temple. Yeah, temple. Wait, is this even gonna be even what I want? Temple. Actually, let's look at the trail ruins. I completely forgot about this. Because there's this new structure in the game called the trail ruins. Which is a place, which is basically supposed to be like a secret or like ancient town that was like many years ago or well, that's the war and in this structure you can find suspicious gravel and suspicious sand and if we actually dig this up with a brush or brush it not actually digging it you can find many stuff in it and if we actually go to spectator mode or dig this up you will notice that it's much bigger And this has, and this structure has a very big loot table of stuff and stuff you can find. And you'll notice that we might find some more suspicious gravel. Don't get fooled by the looks of it, because if you actually break it like that, you don't get anything. Even if it just falls one block, it breaks. Or if you accidentally break it, you don't, you also don't get anything. So you have to be very careful when looking. For some reason there's this glitch where you have this like tip of the tower on the top, but then there's no, but then you have to like dig down very far to actually find the rest of the trail ruins. It's very weird. I don't know why this is happening, but I think it's an armor trim. Yeah, it's an armor trim. You can also find armor trims inside these trail ruins. And if you're lucky enough, you might actually find... So let me just keep on looking. You might actually find a pottery shard. I mean, sure. And this was a danger one. And what you can do with these is that if you go to the crafting table and take one of these shards, surround it and surrounded by other shards or bricks in a gravity table like this, you'll get a decorated pot. Or, you don't just have to use one shard. You can basically use any shards. Any, like, I can basically just do something like this. If I use different shards for everywhere, for all sides, I can make a completely random pot like this. And these are actually supposed to be used to tell stories. I don't know why they did. I don't know why, but... This update is about telling stories. This is weird. We're not supposed to, we're sniffing. We're supposed to be sniffing. It hatched. Oh, and that one too. Oh look, this one is sniffing. It's about to sniff its seed. And 
Okay, now it's digging. Oh, look at this one too. Yay, finally we got our seed after so, so much waiting. Like so much waiting, we finally got our first seed. And this one is about to sniff another seed, and this one. Now all of them are sniffing seeds. So, we have... Now we have found the two new plants that the sniffer can sniff up. And what these plants do... These plants are not like normal plants where you can just like... Plant them down, harvest them, keep on planting them. These plants are different because you have to keep on planting them and keep on finding them and replanting them. And these seeds can also be used to feed animals. But why would you even want to do that? That's just wasted. And when these grow up, because I'm not gonna wait another lot, I'm just gonna grow them like this. And basically what these when you, uh, once you harvest these oh, once you harvest these let me just you don't actually get the seed though, you just get the flower and these are decorative flowers that you can use to decorate your build your house with honestly i like the pitcher plant the pitcher plant a lot it looks very nice and you can also use the torch flower seeds to breed sniffers and when these two sniffers breed, you don't actually get a sniffling. You actually get a sniffer egg. So you have to hatch it. And these plants can also be used to craft dye, but that's also just wasting. So. And a one feature they also added is they also changed the potion color. And they also changed the look of vexes to make them look more like a lace. They also changed. They also changed enchantment glint. Doesn't seem like it affects this hoe for- doesn't see okay, doesn't seem like it affects it for some reason. But that is basically what they added. And that's kind of everything in this update. But I'm pretty sure there was one last feature. Oh yeah! And that is the brand new music disc.